So now we got Quebec versus New Zealand. New Zealand on the south face to your left. Uh, Quebec on the right fence, on the north fence to your right. And the referee's checking, salutes, and here we go. Quebec looking to get another victory. New Zealand looking to get a victory. Both of these teams are hungry right now. The Quebec has split its team 3-2 and New Zealand is following suit. Uh, hoping that the two that are against the three will hold them off so that they can have a uh, uh, local outnumbering on the other side. And uh, Quebec guy pulls down one New Zealander with him, leaving two New Zealanders beating up on one Quebecois. And wow, he dumped one of them over the dead body. So now it's one-on-one -on, -one on that side. What's going on on the other side? Uh, as the Quebec and New Zealand keep punching each other, the Quebecois is checking the map, and he's taken down a New Zealander. Meanwhile, on the other side, Quebec took down the other two New Zealanders. There you have it. Quebec wins. Four to nothing. Uh, four men up. While New Zealand has five men now. That's the action. Quebec has been learning its lessons. Mm. Referees uh, reminding a couple of Quebecois about some finer points of the law. Let's see what happened here. With the three on two of New Zealand against Quebec. Okay, that New Zealander leaves the guy he was facing to get the poleaxer who was helping, hurting his buddy. And now he's coming down with the axe. You know, here's a clue. Blocking a, an axe with a, you know, the palm of your hand is not a good idea. In fact, if you show the palm of your hand to your opponent, you're technically surrendering, but I'm pretty sure he didn't realize that at the time. Mm. So they're fastening uh, one of the New Zealanders back into his armor. The Quebecois seem to like, are just discussing a few plans for what they're going to do the next time around. And we're going to see what kind of action we're going to get. This is round two. If Quebec wins, the match is over. If New Zealand wins, they got to fight it again. Now, it's unlikely that we're going to have like seven rounds where there could have been only two or three because that was what happened with the pole armors earlier in the singles matches. But uh, I don't know, five on five. I've never seen that happen. I've seen it go to four, maybe five rounds, but I've never seen it go to seven. And the dramatic music plays. What's going on here? Quebecois team, the Quebec team, is talking to the referee about something, while New Zealand is standing up on their end of the field wondering what to do. So an announcement was just made, I have no idea what it was, but Quebec has five men on the field, New Zealand has five men on the field, and Quebec is set up in a three on one side, two on the other. New Zealand has got four in the front, one in the back. The one in the back is just staying there. Uh, looks like Quebec is trying to surround New Zealand, but New Zealand is attacking and pushing them up against the fences before anything can happen about that. There's a New Zealand releasing himself from an exchange to try to find... Oh, and he slips on the ground and hits the ground without hitting anybody else. So New Zealand is down by one. There's a, cl there's a cluster in the center there that, oh, New Zealand broke up. So now there's a two-on-one against New Zealand. And Quebec takes down another New Zealander in a two-on-one. 
Now this New Zealander is all by himself. Uh, now it looks like he's against one, two, three. Yeah, he's all by himself. So three on one, and Quebec wins. Wait a minute, there's the New Zealander who was against the fence. What happened? He was just standing there. He didn't engage, he didn't fight. What happened? Okay, I'm curious. Hmm. But hugs and love all around. Quebec wins. Oh. You hate it when that happens. You just hate it when that happens. Everything's going good. You got a clear shot at somebody and then boom. You trip over your own feet. That's gotta hurt. The pride if nothing else. Okay, so it looks like some of the teams are leaving the field. Our five on fives may be winding down. How many more five on five matches we got to go? Do you know? Anybody know? Ah, it looks like the five-on-five -five matches have stopped for the moment. 